Arnold Schwarzenegger shared a memorable story at the 2019 Sunday Showcase seminar about meeting Franco Colombo in Germany. At a European competition in 1965, there were two weight categories, heavyweight and lightweight. Franco easily fixed victory in the lightweight division, leaving a lasting impression on Arnold Schwarzenegger. Arnold vividly recalled watching Franco perform powerlifting, especially squats, despite being a smaller guy. Schwarzenegger was amazed at how Franco outlifted everyone else at the competition. This encounter showcased Franco Colombo's remarkable strength and skill, withstanding expectations given his height. The story highlights the beginning of their friendship and Arnold's admiration for Franco's abilities. Despite being a little guy, as Arnold put it in an interview, Franco's dominance in powerlifting made a lasting impact on Arnold at that competition. In 1966, after finishing his military service in Munich, Arnold Schwarzenegger looked back on a crucial decision that would profoundly influence his career. And in 1965, a year before Arnold's move to Munich, watching Franco dominate the lightweight division deeply impressed Arnold. Fueled by admiration for Franco's strength, Arnold seized the moment and proposed, I said to Franco right there at the competition when I first met him in 1965. I said we should train together because I always admired strength and I want to be one of those bodybuilders that can also win powerlifting competitions as well. A year later, true to his word, Arnold moved to Munich, and the dynamic duo embarked on a shared journey of intense training. Their collaboration wasn't just about lifting weights, it was about pushing each other to achieve greatness. Arnold's goal was clear, he wanted to win powerlifting competitions in both Austria and Germany. As they went through their workouts, the camaraderie between Arnold and Franco blossomed. Their training sessions weren't just about physical strength, they became a symbol of the deep friendship and mutual respect between the two aspiring athletes. In the crucible of the gym, Arnold's dream started to emerge, he began winning powerlifting competitions, showcasing his prowess not only as a bodybuilder but also as a force to be reckoned with in powerlifting. The impact of their collaboration went beyond the gym walls. Arnold's victories became a testament to the transformative power of shared goals and mutual support. And when Franco expressed his aspiration to become Mr. Universe, to which Arnold gladly took on the role of mentor. Arnold recounted, then I taught Franco bodybuilding. Because Franco said to me I would like to be Mr. Universe and that's how we would train together. This highlights how Arnold and Franco supported each other during their training sessions. Arnold, being experienced in bodybuilding, willingly shared his knowledge to help Franco pursue his dream of becoming Mr. Universe. Arnold added, when I moved to America for the first time, the person I missed the most was Franco. Arnold explained, I had difficulty training properly, so I had to persuade Joe Weider that even though Franco was shorter and not as physically imposing, he possessed great strength and would bring valuable substance to the team. Franco lived in Germany, but nine months later, he came to America, and Joe Weider was really happy to have him here. When Franco arrived, something amazing happened, his strength went up a lot higher, and he started winning big bodybuilding competitions like Mr. Universe, thanks to Arnold. Even though Franco was not a super heavy guy at 175 pounds, he could easily squat a massive 525 pounds. He also could do lateral raises with 85s and 90s pounds. These moves were perfect, kicking the weights up to his back shoulders. Arnold shared a memorable moment, saying, back when we were in Venice Beach, Franco and I were talking about our workouts. Franco suggested that we should include abs in our routine, but we didn't have an abdominal bench at the gym. With only a few pieces of equipment available, I explained to Franco that it wasn't possible. However, Franco, being the innovative guy he was, insisted there was a way. So Franco took Arnold over to the chin-up bar, and without any shoes on, he simply hooked his toes onto the bar. And to Arnold's amazement, he started doing sit-ups like a pro, hanging onto the bar. It was incredible to see how creative Franco was in finding a solution, proving that you don't always need fancy equipment to get a good workout. That's just one of the many moments that made their training in Venice Beach so special. Arnold and Franco's workouts were legendary, marked by intense training sessions that pushed the boundaries of what the human body could achieve. They focused not only on building muscle mass but also on sculpting a balanced and aesthetically pleasing physique. Their training philosophy emphasized compound movements, like squats and deadlifts, which contributed to their overall strength and physique development. Beyond the gym, Arnold and Franco's friendship extended to their personal lives. 
they supported each other through the ups and downs, celebrated victories, and offered encouragement during setbacks. Their bond was forged through shared experiences, creating a unique camaraderie that defined the golden era of bodybuilding. In competitions, Arnold and Franco were often pitted against each other, yet their rivalry was always rooted in mutual respect. They pushed each other to new heights, setting a standard for excellence that would be remembered for generations. The competitions of the Golden Era were fierce, showcasing not only physical prowess but also the artistry and grace of the athletes. The Golden Era of bodybuilding was characterized by a sense of community and shared passion for the sport. Athletes like Arnold and Franco became ambassadors, inspiring others to embrace a lifestyle centered around fitness and well-being. The emphasis on aesthetics, symmetry, and overall physical development defined this era from later periods of bodybuilding. The old-school approach to bodybuilding was about more than just lifting weights, it was a holistic lifestyle that encompassed nutrition, rest, and mental well-being. Arnold and Franco embodied these principles, demonstrating that true strength was not just about the physical aspect but also about discipline, perseverance, and mental fortitude. As the golden era unfolded, Arnold and Franco's impact on the bodybuilding world continued to grow. Arnold's charisma and achievements transcended the sport, leading him to a successful career in Hollywood and public service. Franco, too, found success beyond bodybuilding, showcasing his talents in acting and various entrepreneurial ventures. In conclusion, the friendship between Arnold Schwarzenegger and Franco Colombo symbolizes the essence of the golden era of bodybuilding. Their journey together, marked by intense training, mutual support, and shared accomplishments, reflects the friendship that defined this influential period. The legacy of Arnold and Franco extends beyond their victories on the bodybuilding stage, it encompasses a timeless friendship that continues to inspire fitness enthusiasts worldwide. Old school bodybuilding has left an indelible mark on the fitness world, shaping not only the physiques of its practitioners but also the very notion of what constitutes an ideal body. In the realm of old school bodybuilding, aesthetics reigned supreme. Unlike the mass monsters of today's bodybuilding scene, whose sheer size often overshadows other aspects of their physiques. Old school bodybuilders focused on sculpting a harmonious blend of muscle mass and definition. This emphasis on proportionality gave rise to a timeless aesthetic that continues to captivate audiences to this day. Even as the fitness industry evolves and new trends emerge, the legacy of old school bodybuilding endures. Its emphasis on aesthetics, proportionality, and discipline continues to inspire countless individuals to pursue their fitness goals with passion and determination.